<laughs> what is up, YouTube? <coughs> this is Firefish Backhouse here, bringing you my very first anime reaction to Dragon Ball Super. Even though I've been watching every single episode, and this episode was was pretty decent. Um, we basically found out what the next arc is going to be, and um, yeah, let's jump into it. So it starts off with uh, the King of Everything. And I'm pretty sure for Neverworld said it. I can't remember anybody else saying it. I watched his video on it, but he was basically correct in saying that he is the king. He's the one that's in charge of all 12 universes. And he played a joke on them. He's like, they're like, oh, how you doing? You know, oh, you know, um, fucking Weiss is like, you know. Beerus cares more about eating and sleeping than he does about destruction. And then Vados is like, Trompa here doesn't care about his body. And, you know, he doesn't like the food I make him. So then Yuzawa Samai is just like, yeah, you know what? I'll get different drugs of destruction. They freak out and they're like, ah. Oh. And then he's like, you know, I heard you guys were doing something arbitrary. But, you know, I watched it and I enjoyed it. So I decided that... You know, in the near future, we're going to have a tournament with all of the universes. So that is what the next major arc is going to be. We're going to have fighters from universe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 again, obviously. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I wonder if, like, because there's the 12 universes, I wonder if the king of everything, you know, is kind of like... It's like Beerus' planet or universe where he's kind of by himself there or something like that. Or, you know, maybe his home is something like that. Um, and then Goku's like, oh yeah, that's going to be a good idea. And he's walking up and Beerus and Chomp are like, what are you doing, you motherfucker? You're not supposed to do anything. Um, earlier in there, there was uh, the Supreme Kai. Um, he got punched in the head because he's like, who is that? You know, everybody went and bowed. Um... Basically, he's like, you know, that sounds like a really fun idea. You know, Goku was like that, and he went to go shake his hand, and everybody was all like, ah, da 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 da. But before that, he went to go talk, and his bodyguards just teleported through the floor, went right in front of him, came up, and they're like, that's as far as you go. He's like, really? I can't even go any further? And they're like, nope, not even talking, nope. So then he tells them he wants to do the tournament and everything. You know, um, he shakes his hand and everything. That's a good idea. Little still cuts and everything. It, it it was a pretty decent episode. And then after he left, the king of everything left. You know, Beerus was like, I now, now that I've seen him, I don't even care that I won. You know, if I would have lost, I wouldn't have cared either. And then Trump was like, you know what? I don't care that I lost because this wasn't the real thing. The next one is going to be the real thing, because when the king of everything throws it, you know it's the real thing. Who gives a fuck if it's just the god of destruction? You need the real motherfucking king of everything to run everything, and then it's real. So then, um, Trompo leaves, everybody else leaves, you know, Goku before that, he's like, hit, you know, uh, it's probably going to be some time before um, we have this other tournament, so if you'd like... In um, three days, you know, we could fight. Yeah? You like that? And he's like, hmm. Goku's like, okay, how about just tomorrow then? But yet, yeah, didn't he just say in the previous episode that it would be a, a little while before he could use the Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue? Unless. You know, there is something that Goku just hasn't used. He might have something else up his sleeve other than, you know, up his sleeve or his judo thingy suit that he wears. I forget what it's called. But he might have something else other than just Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan with Kaioken or Super Saiyan Blue. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, after Chomp and everything left, uh, get the dragon radar and we find out that the planet that they were fighting on was actually the seventh super dragon ball and I just loved how um, it was the four star you know um, that was Goku's dr actual dragon ball that his grandpa left him 
in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and everything. And it was the only Dragon Ball you couldn't find, and bam, it, it, they were they had it the whole time. Uh, they summon the Shenron, and oh, you know, you have to summon him in the voice of the gods, which is weird. Um, in the language of the gods, the voice, the language, whatever. And basically, what it is is like he, eat, he, you're in his mouth, so like he eats you. But he doesn't swallow you. I'm pretty sure it's that's like the equivalent of um, in Naruto Shippuden when uh, Naruto gets eaten by uh, Son Goku. Yeah, I know when he gets eaten by the four tail Son Goku, he goes into that little area inside of Son Goku's mind, and only those two can talk. I believe it's probably something like that where you know he'll eat them, they obviously won't get digested because once they make the wish, he separates and everything. So, yeah. Um, and basically, you know, he's he asks, how do you make the wish? And Bulma's like, you have to promise one last time. You know, before that, she's like, you gotta promise you will not wish for anything evil. He's like, I'll think about it. And then she's like, I will tell the king of everything. And he's like, alright, alright, you know, I won't. And then it was actually uh, 18 that pointed out, well, no, all seven were on the radar when you activated it and everything. Um, so then uh, Beerus made the wish um, in the language and, well, told Beast what to do it because Beast was the one that summoned it. And um, it must, it's probably, I kind of forget because it's been a while since I've watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, you know, front to back. But I wonder, is it that the person that summons the dragon, like Shenron and the Namek dragon, I'm pretty sure that, you know, it wasn't the person that summoned him that had to make the wish. But I'm going to guess in this situation, because only Beerus and Whis could talk in the tone of the gods, that... It might only be people that know the language of the gods that are able to speak to him. Um, but anyway, Beerus said that he order he wished for a more comfortable bed than he had. And then we find out as Vados and Chomp are leaving, he wished to have everybody on the Earth in the Universe 7 to be brought back to life. Now, I wonder if that's going to be explained, because I remember it was the Earth in Universe 7 was destroyed by nuclear warfare. I wonder if it was bring everybody back to life, but wipe out all the memories of, like, um, the war and everything. So, it could have been, like, you know, he wished for the Earth in Universe 7 to be identical to the Earth in Universe 6. And it's simple as that. Uh, we had Kaba, or Kabi, ask, you know, telling Vegeta, oh, now I can bring you to plant a salad, Mentor. And he's like, I'm not your Mentor. And he's like, yes, Mentor. And he's like, Pff. And then Piccolo just smiles. Um, and then uh, we arrive back at Earth, you know, after, you know, um, the wish happened and everything, they're traveling, and, um, yeah, Beerus said that he wished for the Universe 7 Earth to be the same as Universe 6, or have it restored to natural balance, or whatever it was, I'm pretty sure it'll be more explained, because I'm pretty sure Votto said that all of the people on the Universe 7 Earth were revived. So I'm just guessing my assumption is that Beerus asked Beast to wish for all the Universe 7 people to be brought back to life and have it be an exact copy of Universe 6, basically, is what my assumption is. And then, you know, they're landing, they're getting back to Earth and everything, and there's the one joke in there where where they got eaten and Goku's like does that mean we're gonna come back out as poop and everything and 
yeah, but in, um, and then, um, you know, when they left and everything, we found out that, uh, Monaka got paid and that Beerus is just using Monaka to try and motivate Goku and everything. And he gave him a whole bunch of jewels and everything. And, you know, I wonder if, um, you know, maybe Beerus sees Goku as a potential new god of destruction. But yet he wouldn't be a god of destruction because he doesn't like to destroy and everything. He'd basically be a god that just likes to go around and fight people and, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so based on what happened, you know, in the preview and everything, looks like we're going to have the final episode of this arc. And it's going to be everybody celebrating, it looks like, the victory of Universe 6 over Universe 7. And, you know, because Monaka is going to be there, it's finally going to be Goku versus Monaka. We'll probably find out more about Monaka. And based on the outfit Monaka was wearing, I'm going to guess he's probably just like a scrub. You know, he's a jobber. So, um, it'll be, um, it'll be nice to finally find out what is Monaka's deal and everything. And it'll be nice to be able to go and visit all of these other characters in the universe. I wonder if, um, if Champa is going to have the exact same characters. And I wonder if this time around, instead of Gohan having to write his um, essay or exams or whatever he was doing. I wonder if Goku is actually going to fight in this and I wonder if um, you know we could have you know I don't know if um, the rules will be exactly the same where no gods of destruction to, can, can take place but that would be awesome if, like, um, you know, it's going to be nice to see how the tournament's structured. Maybe they'll do something like Universe 1 versus 2, 3 versus 4, 5 versus 6, 7 versus 8, 9 versus 10, 11 versus 12. And then the winner of 1 and 2 plays the, you know, fights the winner of 3 and 4. It's going to be, you know, um, cool to see how it goes. I wonder if it's going to be... Um, maybe something like, uh, oh, that'd be awesome, you know, um, I just thought, it, you know, they make 12 brackets, so all, you know, say they make five or six members per team, you know, one member from each team draws a number, and they make brackets one through 12, and... Yeah, one you do one through twelve, and then you know every you know the winners of all the brackets you know face each other something like that. It, it, it's gonna be nice to see, but um, yeah. Anyway, um, really good episode. Um, we finally got done the arc. We gotta see the Omega Golden Shenron and everything. Um, based on next episode's preview, uh, we're finally gonna see. Monaka and Goku clash, supposedly, uh, even though Monaka, I don't get it, because Monaka is really frightened by Hit. He was really frightened, you know, scared when um, Beerus was like, I'm going to continue to use you to motivate Goku. But then in the previews, you see he was all powered up and everything, so I wonder if it's just basically gonna be like a type of dream or something maybe you know maybe something happens where Goku eats something and he just loses control or something and he starts thinking that um everybody's Monaka or something like that it it might be like um a little episode like that um here I'll um it I'm pretty sure, uh, what was the episode called again for next week's, but, um, 
yeah, it will be nice to see if um if Goku uh, like if he does have anything else up his sleeve other than the blue Kaioken, the uh, Super Saiyan blue with the Kaioken red. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'll leave this uh this review how it is um um based on story progression and everything. Um, we don't really know where the story's going because the manga is still ongoing and everything. And, um, yeah. But anyway, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Comment down below on what you thought about the episode. What you expect from, um, next week's episode and the episodes leading up. What you think and expect from this tournament of the universes. So... It's not just universe 6 and 7, it's 1 through fucking 12. Um, what do you think about the king of the universe um, being such a weird character and everything? Um, what do you think about the fact about uh, the wish that Beerus made and the fact that he paid Monaka so that he could motivate Goku? Um, share this video around with all your friends and everybody if they like Dragon Ball. Super. Um, I did my. I'm going to be doing weekly reviews for Boku no Hero Academia, uh, One Piece uh, manga, and everything. I am pro and anime. I am probably going to start doing my Boku no Hero Academia manga reviews when the next chapter drops, and um, do a whole series overview of that. Um, I read Terraform Mars, you know, in one weekend. Uh, this weekend, I read it, and I watched the 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 season one and the season two that was out, it was phenomenal. Uh, season one was a little phenomenal, even though they, like, compared to anime contrast and everything. Um, yeah, and I will be ha uploading another video later on today uh, discussing what I kind of think in my head about what's going to happen with the Naruto Shippuden anime. So, yeah, um, subscribe if you want to see all my videos when they come up and when they come out and everything and um yeah whatever you guys decide to do i hope you guys have a wonderful and safe day and until next time this is firefish backo signing out saying bye bye everybody woo the tournament's over yeah